Hi everyone, this is Ami Diamond from SharePoint Wizard. In this episode, I'd like to show you the Copilot now is available in Microsoft Forms. So I'm now in Microsoft Forms and I will click on the new form. Now, uh, what we see here now, we have a draft with Copilot. Now, if I cancel this, I'll have two possibilities. One, to use the draft with Copilot. And the other is uh, to create the first question. Just notice that it looks different before we had some something different, but this is the way the new way to choose, and we have examples for some of the questions. But let's go and see the copilot. So what you can do here is to describe the form that you want to create, including context, purpose, and intention. Uh, audience. Now here if we click on view prompt we can uh, have some examples and we can see. So the first one is design a volunteer sign up form. So if I click it it adds this text and I can adjust it. So uh, let's click on generate. We'll wait for a couple of seconds and we will see that it will propose uh, some questions for the questionnaire. So what do we see here? A sign up for a volunteer. It's asking for full name, email, phone, what day, and hours, and all of this. Now in the bottom, what we can do is to see the prompt. We can also, uh, what we can ask for additional questions. If we, you look here below you'll see that we can scroll down. Uh, we can uh, ask to uh, give some regenerate, we can delete, and we can add for details for the copilot. So let's say uh, add some uh, personal details. like age, address, and, and location. So if I click this, it will add some additional questions. And once we're, so you see actually that it, should have added some here the state, the country, the city, the address, the age. And if, we, if we're okay with it, we can keep it. We can go back to the first proposal. We can keep it. And now it's creating actually the poll based on what we wanted. Now, notice that it also uh, offers a uh, how to style the theme. So we can choose a theme like this and see how it looks. And if we like it, we can keep it. So now it added to the top page uh, this design. And now we can adjust all of the things. So let's just go back and um, look at some additional uh, prompts. So one was designed for a volunteer. The second one is a draft, uh, a form for fitness center. Of course, we can change all of the text here. And by changing the text, then we will have different results. So we'll just wait a, a minute and you will see that it's offering all kinds of things and we can adjust it. I'll give you an example. For instance, if we want some employee satisfaction, create an employee feedback survey for HR. So if I, let's see how, what it writes for HR. And it will show, for instance, some departments. So what departments Uh, do you work? But if I 
go to the prompt and change it from the HR department and change it to IT department, you will see that it would now it's changing it according to that. So you see what is your department, software, network, technical support and others, and what job do you do? If it's a software engineer, so it's adjusting all of it. Now I took some something I wrote that create a poll that will ask for basic details of the person and in addition ask for employee satisfactions. So let's try to generate it. I'll delete this and put this. By the way, we can ask the copilot to write the prompt. So that's a good idea if you don't know how to do it. So you see this is based on something I wrote. It's giving me the full name, the email address, um, the gender, and all kinds of things. So if I like it, I can, it's now created. I can choose a theme and keep it and now I can continue and uh, adjusting it I can add additional questions like upload file or I can uh, add a text and afterwards I can actually fill it out and uh, put all of the information so this is a first overview and peek uh, to the Microsoft Forms Copilot. In future, I will give you some advance. Thank you for watching. If you like my channel, subscribe and goodbye.